Those tiny homes seem to be sweeping the nation from social media posts to having television shows based around them. One Montgomery native and her husband decided to get rid of their apartment and build a tiny home, taking it all across the country to hopefully improve other homes along the way. WSFA 12 News reporter Hannah Lane took a tour of the home and has more on how it works. Her story is new at 6. The Lunsfords are your typical family. Husband Corbett, wife Grace, nine-month-old daughter Nanette, two cats. But what isn't exactly typical is their tiny house, which measures at a mere 210 square feet. I don't feel like I've given anything up. The home consists of a kitchen, bedroom with a queen bed, closet, and nook for Nanette, a loft for dining room and living room, workspace, and of course a bathroom, complete with a shower, compost toilet, litter box, and a changing table. Like most, you probably are wondering not only about the tight quarters, but the smell. While I was there, not once did I get a whiff of anything other than pleasantries. There's a trap door for all the solids, and then there's diverters for all the liquids. It is its own poopery. The Lunsfords say it's all based on the dynamics of their home, sealed tight, ventilated right. So if you're doing home renovations or building a new home, you will be required to have an airtight house you will be required to have ventilation. The idea behind the home is actually to help others. That's why the family has been touring the country, showing off this tiny lab so people can learn how their home performs and ways to make it perform better. Number one recommendation that we're always giving people that's so important is get your house tested with a comprehensive test, including a blower door test. That's a test for the air tightness. What we want is for people to just know and understand their home better. Now, if you would like to learn more about the tiny lab and even see it up close and personal, you can. They are opening it.